This is Tomodachi Life, and it is the weirdest game Nintendo has ever made. The existence of this game is shrouded in mystery. Tomodachi Life is essentially Nintendo's version of The Sims, except the characters act different. For example, in The Sims, the characters speak their own language. But in this game, all the characters sound like they're on the brink of death at all times. Hello. Hello. Like, bro, breathe. Why do they sound like that? How did Nintendo come up with this game? What are they trying to tell us? Well, I figured it out. I played the game for a week straight and found all of its mysteries. I fell in love. Love. I started a drug problem. I even bathed Barack Obama. <laughs> <sighs> that was a fun night. So sit down, relax, you know, grab a snack. Let me tell you a story full of love, loss, and triumph in Nintendo's weirdest game ever made. Let's just say, um, uh, buckle up for the, uh, the journey that's about to, um, take place. Whoops. My original 3DS. Doesn't that give you some nostalgia? Look at that. Got the 3D and everything. The plan is simple. The goal of the game is to marry someone and eventually have a kid. And oh boy, that was a that was a difficult process. We start off the game with having to first name our island. And I name it Petroleum Island. I don't really know why I did that. I, I guess I was thinking about Vaseline at the time. Now I have to make my first me. Now the first me is always the most important one because it's like the main character of the game. And after birthing my me, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to <laughs> Drum Roll, please. Walter. Yeah! Hey, that's the guy from Breaking Bad. You're absolutely right, dear viewer. That is, that's who that was. Now, Walter got a bit lonely on Petroleum Island. I mean, the population was only two. Him and, well, me. So I'm gonna make the second tenant of our island here. Hey guys, uh, Barack Obama here. I'm in Tomodachi Life. Jordan is uh, awesome and sexy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I made that with AI. Technology's neat. I think Walter had a liking towards his new neighbor. Because as soon as Obama moved in, Walter ran right over there. The sparks were flying. And after this, I got to work on making more me's. Because there's a little secret I forgot to mention to you guys. I like money. And in Tobodacho Life, you make more money with the more problems you solve. For example, this guy's hungry, boom, he gets bread. Money for me. This girl's hungry, boom, bread. That's going money for me. And guess what? He's hungry, uh, bang, bread. More money for me. I really gotta invest in more food for the island. So if I create more me's, I'll have more problems to solve. Therefore, I'll get more money. Because hey, if I'm not making money off these guys, who will? Who's gonna be the real breadwinner here? <laughs> So I got to work creating the first batch of me's. Freddy Fazbear, Sandra Bullock, Levi Ackerman, the little girl that goes missing in The Walking Dead, Steve from Minecraft, and G George. George was my childhood neighbor that fucking sucked. He took my toys. So I'm gonna make his time on this island as worse as possible because that's what he deserves. One. Two. Wow. I wonder. Gulp, gulp. I feel something. Yeah, I don't know. Freddy Fazbear just got like obliterated, right? Like in this child's game. Sometimes things just happen in this game that I just I just don't understand why it happens. Like this whole game just feels like an inside joke that I'm not a part of. Like, can somebody tell me what this is? Because I I don't I don't know. So the islanders do this thing every day where they'll donate me money to, you know, help out the island. What they don't know is this is actually my way of taxing them. So. $68? That's not enough. <laughs> I decided the island needs more money. It needs more money. So you may ask yourself, how did I convince the islanders to make me more money after I already taxed them every day? That's right. A <laughs> That's what you're gonna wear to the biggest event on the island. Okay, never mind. Let's just let's just start. All right, welcome back to the Jordan Show. That's right. Woo, everyone's cheering for me. Woohoo! All right, let's get started now. Um, what the fuck? What are you doing here? Um, let's get started. Um, okay, stop. Stop. Oh my god. Fucking 
Wait a second, George. That was that was amazing. And sure to make the island millions. W what do you think, Simon Cowell? I quite liked it actually. Guys, the island is in ruins. I haven't been honest with you. George had a a ghost writer, and that ghost writer was. I told him to say those amazing, true lyrics about himself. After this got out, the reputation of the island was ruined. George was so sad, all he wanted to do in life was become a singer, and those dreams were crushed right in front of him. I had to push him on the swing just to get him to stop crying. Isn't that sad? I had to touch him. Gross. And something even worse happened. In the midst of the chaos, Freddy tried to get with Obama. What? No, this can't be. After all the time with Walter, how could he how could he do this? I am God to these people. They can't just have free will. Now that Walter knew he couldn't win over Obama with just his looks, I decided to help him get his money up. To learn the life of a hustler. Because that's that's what women want. I got $97 in taxes today. You know the drill. More people, more money, yada, yada, yada. So I got the factory running again. And although I destroyed the local ecosystem in the process, I created 26 islanders whose only purpose is just to exist to pay me taxes. And let me introduce you to them. <clears throat> okay, this little goober's name is A, and then this is B, and then this is, um... Oh, what was his name? Oh, it was C. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a fucking alphabet, okay? I got a little bored, okay? I'm here to make money, not make... Decent human beings. The next couple days, I just grinded, trying to stack my bread up. Literally, I was l literally buying bread. And I waited for hours, days, to watch Walter get a little hard at his apartment. As I was waiting, this guy was also fucking pissed at Steve for some reason. With all the taxes, I finally made $1,000. Capitalism rules. And I decided to sabotage Freddy's handsome looks to try to, you know, sway Obama's opinion a little. That should stop him. Imagine seeing that on night three. Bro, whose cartoony ass room is this? Oh my god, of course it's his. Hey, wait a second. With Drake on the island, maybe we can save our music reputation. I mean, Drake did make passion fruit, and let's be honest, we've all had a moment with that song. <laughs> Just me? Okay. And a song could be the missing puzzle to get Obama's love. And, you know, it could make me money. So Walter got to work. Instead of cooking meth, he was cooking heat. Wait, if you want me to make a song, there's one thing you have to do. Okay. You have to play cards with me. What? You have to play cards with me. Okay. Jeez, this is really fun. I needed this. Okay, let's get down to the meat and potatoes here then. All right, welcome back to the Jordan Show. We're doing this fucking bit again. God, does my life get better? Okay, up next is a, a Drizzy Drake. Okay, yeah, that shit sucked. Yeah, mate, that was awful. Without the captions, you can't even understand them. Like, what was that? The song was a hit. The island had a following again. Just look at that crowd. But after the performance, things went stagnant between Obama and Walter. You know, there was often on flirting, but... It never came to be. And a ton of other stuff was happening on the island too. Freddy's crying due to his atrocious cut, I don't blame him. The experiment started tweaking as usual. I did everything for Obama and Walter. I, I mean, I even got them to do ballet together. And they won't just... They won't just fuck! That's the whole point of the game, just do it for me, please, so I can stop making this video! I just had to get my mind off things for a while. I even tried to, you know, mingle with the other islanders. Espresso. Orange. English breakfast. But they were too fucking weird. I had to take a break. Wasn't that wasn't that cool? I guess the sparks just weren't really ever there.
Well, I think I learned my lesson in this video. Love is a lie. Aw, oh, shucks. Don't be sad, Jordan. We're here for you, mate. We all, uh, love you. Hey, it's Walter from the video. I love you. Oh, wow. You know, thanks, guys. Maybe I shouldn't be searching for love when my family was here the whole time. I think the message of this game is to let go and realize you have no control over some things in life. Well put, Drake. I guess you could say this is the Tomodachi life. Oh, hell oh, no. Oh, my God, bro, shut up. And that's the end of the video because I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. This is too fucking weird. Fuck. <laughs> she said the F word. You know what? I just scratched the surface with Tomodachi Life. There's so much to do in this game. I haven't even unlocked like half the map. So if you guys want me to play more, let me know in the comments. And if you watch this far, go ahead and subscribe. 95% of you guys aren't. So come on. No, seriously, it's free and it would help me out so much. That's it for now. And remember guys, true love doesn't exist.